together waiting for your coming Lord as a bride waits for her groom we the church will wait for you God and as we wait we will not just stand by but we will spread your gospel Lord you see each and every hand in this place right now carrying your light and your word So right now, Lord, we just lift our hands and surrender to you, God. As your people, God, we lift our hands in all of your goodness and your glory. Right now, Lord, we just focus in you.
Kailan ako magsisimula? Nag-uwi na kayo. Ayan, sige. Find your place. Maganda umaga po. Are we good? I believe we have first time visitors for today. 
the we yeah welcome to new life welcome home wow how about second timer oh me second timer dito me second timer dito me second timer do welcome to new life how about third timer how me third timer welcome po welcome fourth timer Oh, me fourth timer then. Okay, welcome po. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody, welcome to new life. Are we good? Okay. Ganda pala. Nakatutok ko yung camera ko sa inyo. Joke lang. This is now our, our third week. We're studying understanding end times. I believe we, we can put the the timeline there so somehow we could align we could adjust you could perceive what i am talking about kasi pagkawalay pagkawalayan uh, mahirap po magturo nito did you see it ayan so we're done with the the wedding or the rapture of the church kasi di ba uh, if i'm not mistaken it was during the first sunday we, we talk about the wedding banquet Uh, it happened after the church is being raptured. So when we are raptured, in, we will be with the Lord in heaven for seven years. Tapos down here, there will be a seven-year tribulation. Kung nakita niyo po yan. And after the seven-year tribulation, Jesus will come down again together with the church. So bababa tayo kasama ni Jesus And after that, we will be ruling and reigning together with Christ for a thousand years. Yun po yung millennial reign of Christ. At uh, nasabi din po natin last week, if I'm not mistaken, thank God meron tayong Facebook. Kaya ako, uh, na-encourage ako, ituro din ito kasi it will be there, I don't know, uh, until when, doon sa Facebook natin. So you could watch and revisit po doon sa, sorry, Did I say Facebook? No? Uh, yeah, may Facebook po, New Life Tagig, pero our preaching is more on YouTube. So you could revisit your YouTube, our new, new <laughs> YouTube channel po na New Life Tagig at pwede po ninyong i-share. Okay? So after, uh, yung second coming, right after rapture, seven years tribulation, dito sa baba, bababa si Jesus together with us, the church. And ang unang order of business, of course, uh, Satan will be bound for 1,000 years. And then there will be yung battle of Armageddon, di ba? Kasi si Satanas kasama yung 10 nations, they will be surrounding Jerusalem for a battle of Armageddon, which will only last for one day. Pero hindi na po natin tinakil yun because uh, parang dito ako nakafocus sa, sa la- timeline na to. So after that battle of Armageddon, Jesus will begin his earthly reign for 1,000 years. Kasama tayo. Hello? Kasama po tayo. Pero ang good, uh, good note to remember, when Jesus uh, comes on the second coming, magta-touchdown po siya sa Mount of Olives, di ba? We will be with our uh, glorified body. Diba? So we will be riding on white horses, di ba? Hindi po red horse. White horse ang sasakyan natin with our glorified body and we will be ruling together with Jesus for a thousand years. So na- nandiyan po tayo sa iksenang yan. And there we will continue teaching and talking. Did you get me? Natindan niyo po? So nandun tayo sa 1,000 years. At lipa tayo sa Revelation 20 verse 7. Now when the thousand years have expired, meaning natapos na, Satan, uh, wait mana, before I show you that verse 7, can we show them the verse 1 of that chapter 20? Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand, verse 2. He laid hold of the dragon. So, ang first order, of, after, the, after Jesus defeated Satan for the battle of Armageddon, 
Nagpadala siya ng angel, kinadena si Satan, that serpent of all, the devil and Satan, and bound him for how many years? Thousand years. Doon sa bottomless pit. Then verse 7, Now when the thousand years have expired, Satan will be released from his prison. Take note guys, ha? during the thousand reign of Christ, we will be ruling and reigning with him, with our glorified body. But who are our subjects? Sino yung sasakupan, nasasakupan natin? I believe we will be ruling, of course, with Christ, but our subjects are the people who were left behind during the tribulation. Kasi the tribulation is not 100% worldwide. There are still places, di ba? Tao pa. Magagaling yung mga tao magtago. May mga taong mga end time preppers. Naggawa sila ng mga bunker sa ilalim ng lupa na fully secured na kahit anong bomba ang iba to. They will be safe and sound under the bunker. And of course, they stock it with food that could last for how many years? May mga tao pong ganon. At siyempre yung mga nasa kabundukan, na nasa remote, na still people can survive in the mountains, magtanim ka lang ng kamate, suluya, kamote. Di ba? You can survive. So I believe, hindi lahat mamamatay during the tribulation. There were still survivors. At tayo po ang mag, 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 mag rule and reign together with Christ. Did you get me? Kasi hindi naman po... But the good thing is, we will be with our glorified body. And our subjects, ladies and gentlemen, they are still in this physical, sinful nature. So life will continue. Meron pa rin buy and sell. Siguro magbe-business pa din. Hindi uh, ko lang alam kung sino na magte-take over ng mga negosyong na iwanan nyo dito kasi nasa langit na tayo. Uh, there will be maybe cars, airplanes. Life will still go on. However, it will be a very different scenario because this is now Jesus, the one ruling from the heart. The heart is Jerusalem. There will, there will be no more political figures during this time. Wala na yung magmamanipulate na mga politiko para pabutuhin tayo because the, the government will be under one government and it is the government of Jesus ruling right from Jerusalem, and of course, together with us. Galeng na? Para manungkot kayo eh. Sabi niyo ba, ala, di pa nga ako nakakasal. Relax lang. Yung pag-aasawa, pagkakasal, dito lang yan. Sa langit, wala nang beer. Eh, sa langit, wala nang kasalan. Tama? So, after we rule and reign for a thousand years, Satan again, sabi dito, will be released from his prison. Why, why, why? Di ba, bakit pa siya pakakawalan? E okay na. E isa rin yung nagre-reign si Jesus na for a thousand years. Our subjects are the people who still remain during those years. Yung nga lang, nasa kanilang sinful nature sila. People will be marrying, dying. Isang, isang libong taon po. Madaming mga anak, madaming mamamatay. But take note, tayo po is under our glorified body they will be in their kagayantong sinful nature. Pakakawalan uli si Satan, but not for a thousand years. For what? Di ba? Pagka, halimbawa, uh, pagka ikaw naman ay nasa isang government na righteous ang pinapatupad, hindi alam ng mga tao na kung ano yung buhay na naandun si Satanas. Take note also guys, remember, during this uh, millennial reign of Christ, yung mga, yung mga leon ay hindi na po karne ang kakainin. Vegetarian na po ang mga leon. Yung mga kobra, yung mga ahas, mawawalan na ng kamandag. Kasi si Satanas nakatali na. Sabi ng Bible, yung mga anak natin maliliit, pwede paglaruan na yung mga, pumunta na sa mga butas, na mga ahas, wala na pong kamandag. Eh kaya masaya no? Yung mga leon, hindi na manginginain ng tao, hindi na sila king of the jungle, vegetarian na sila, yung mga leopard, magka, magkakaibigan na yung mga kahayupan. 
parang ayaw niyo atang ganon. Maglalaro na tayo ng elepante, sasakay na tayo ng giraffe. So all will be fine during the millennial reign because Satan is bound doon sa kailaliman for a thousand years. So hindi, yung mga tao of course, they are still in their sinful nature. Pero di ko lang al- Will people commit sin? Of course. Kasi they are still in their sinful nature. Yung nga lang, wala nang taga-udyok. Kasi si Satanas naandun na sa, naandun na sa bottomless pit. Di ba? Did, did you get the picture? Okay? Naintindihan niyo po yan. So, after that, Satan will be released again. Again, my question is, for what? So that people now can freely One option, I think, is that people now can freely exercise their free will. How could you exercise your free will if there's no other option but only this God? Halimbawa, si Lord lang. Nag-get pa. Wala kang, wala kang free will eh. Para okay, mamili ka. Pag hindi, pula, red. Pwede ba yun? Ano option doon? So, eto, inalaw si Satan... Pero t- tinan ninyo guys ha, sabi ng verse 7, Satan will be released from his prison. At tingnan sa verse 8. Because mankind will try to exercise his free will. They will only appreciate their free will if there's a choice or choices or option. At sabi ng verse 8, after Satan was released, released he will go out to deceive nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle whose number is as the sand of the sea. So kahit papano, after he was bound for a thousand years, when he was released, meron pa rin siyang influence. Nakalikom pa siya ng mga tao, ayun na, whose number is as the sand of the sea. And now they are trying to went again to Jerusalem. They surrounded Jerusalem. And they will try to uh, to topple down the government of Jesus. Ayan no? sabi ng verse 8, whose number is as the sand of the sea. At sabi ng verse 9, they went up on the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city, Jerusalem. However, the good thing, as sabi ng verse 9, and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. Take note, this is millennial reign. So ang ginawa ngayon ni Lord, nung si Satanas ay pinakawalan, nakita ninyo, uh, di ko lang alam kung ga, uh, how many days or months na nangyari yon na nakalikom pa rin si Satanas ng mga followers niya and they try nga po to surround Jerusalem and the come of the saints of the beloved city. Pero sabi ng Bible, Fire came down from God of, out of heaven and devoured them. I don't know how. Pero sabi ng Bible, fire, it could be isang surug agad ang mga kaaway. Why? The most powerful God is at the throne. Di ba? Kagaya ng battle of Armageddon. Katakot-takot na preparation. Pero the battle will only last for one day. So this one, baka wala pang, di ko alam kung ilang minuto, pero as we could see it here, fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil, verse 10, who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Ito na yung kanyang finality. Para bang after 1,000 years pakawalan, di ko alam kung ilang araw, oras kaya, parang huling, huling subok mo na lang. Sandali mo na. Let me correct this guys ha. Si Satanas at saka ang Diyos hindi po magkakampi ha. Baka sabihin ng iba, o oh, si Satanas, parang siya lang yung, ano tawag nun? Sila lang yung nag eliminate yung parang, Nagkits mo po yun? Let me correct that thought lang po. Ah. Bilang nag-pop up eh. Si Satanas po, hindi po trabahador ni Lord. Yung magsasap, mag-i-execute yung summary killing. 
May ganun, may ganun kasing thought. Oh, kaya uh, trabahador lang, mercy, ano? executioner lang ni, ni Lord John. No, no, it's not. They're different. They're enemies. Gets? So for the last time, Satan was released, and lo and behold, there were so many pa rin na he was able to convince as many as the sun. And God, as I've been, and fire came down out of God, out, out of heaven, and devoured them. And afterwards, Satan, for the final step, <laughs> for the final breath, he was uh, thrown into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. For how long they will be tormented? Forever and ever. Kaya ito na nga po yung eternal death. Kung paano meron tayong eternal life, sila meron silang eternal death. Kasi meron po kasing teaching na yung complete annihilation, yung, yung mawawala lahat. No, hindi po. Ang tao, hindi po tayo mawawala. Yung katawan lang natin mamamatay. Yung spirit natin ay pupunta sa... Opo, salangan. Yung spirit ng tao na wala si Kristo, mapupunta sa hell. And they will be there for eternity. Yung kapag in-expound mo na kahit mag-suicide sila sa, sa, doon sa kumukulong supre dito, they will never die. Why? Eternal death po yun. Yun yung sabi ng Bible na yung mga uod, hindi namamatay, yung baho, kahit magbaong ka pa ng sangkatutak na perfume, hindi na ho babango kasi mabaho talaga yon Hindi yon ang destiny natin ng mga taong nilalang ng God. Kasi ang design, design agad sa mga tao to stay for eternity with Him. With him. Kaso by their free will, they choose to stay with Satan. O ganun, bala sila. Verse 11. Are you with me? Are you following? Verse 11. Nung maitapon si Satan sa doon sa hell forever and ever, uh, let me correct my word, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Uh, did I say hell? Kasi hell will be, ano po, will be, will be gone din eh. Tutunawin din ng Lord yun eh. Pero ibang teaching nga lang po yun eh. Pero yung word kasi na they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Yung word na gihina. Pero iba, basta doon na yun. Imperno na lang. Sige, ganun. Tapos. Verse 11. Then I saw a great white throne and him who sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was no found there was found no place for them. I have to teach this very carefully kasi this will matter parang uh, dapat maayos po natin yung belief natin. Dahan-dahanin ko po. Then I saw a great white throne and him who sat on it whose face, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. Yung great white throne, yung great doon po nagsimula yung meaning na mega Super laki ng trono niya. Great in size. Mega in size. Mega in structure. So, doon po nagsimula. At yung word naman po na white, it symbolizes purity, holiness, and righteousness. The judge who sits on the throne, he discerns the thoughts, the intentions, and the minds of the people. And of course, it is Jesus who is sitting there. Amen? And by the way, guys, there will be two kinds of judgment in the future. The one that we are talking right now is the great white throne judgment. This is the judgment for the unbelievers. But for the believers, ang judgment natin is the Bema judgment, which happened a thousand years ahead kumpara sa white throne. Kasi doon nung yung nagtitribulation sa baba ng seven years, ang mga Christian sa taas meron ng judgment. 
the Bema judgment. But the, our judgment is different from their judgment. Mamaya, I will show you. Para lang makita niyo yung pagkakaiba. Did you see it? Nagets na po? Ang Christians sa langit ng judgment natin. But dito, medyo mayroon akong kinakailangang i-elaborate. The great white throne judgment will not be held in heaven nor on earth. Why? And of course, we can never see in the scripture where it was being held. Why, Kamo? Because according to this verse 11, Then I saw a great white throne and him who sat on him from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. Sa sobrang karangyaan, kaluwalhatian na nakaupo sa trono, the heaven fled away. Yung word po na heaven fled away, yung word na fled away sa Greek ay fugo, meaning to flee or to vanish. Naglaho. Naglaho. So, itong word na to was written in this Greek that pictures a sudden and violent termination of the physical universe. Kasi pagdating sa fled away, at as yung huling phrase ay, there was no, there was found no place for them. Yung word na was found, ibig sabihin nun, kahit hanapin mo, ay hindi mo masumpungan. Pero magkaiba yan sa gusto kong bumait, pero di ko magawa. Iba yon. Ito kahit hanapin, hindi masumpungan. The heaven fled away. It vanished. May narinig ako na sabi niya, this, uh, this venue it's, is suspended somewhere. Bahala sila kung nasaan. No venue that That, ano, that, that was held during the White Throne Judgment. Actually, ang makakasagot dyan ay sa 21.1 ng Revelation. Para, lang, para hindi na kayo masyadong magulong isipan. Revelation 21 verse 1. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Magkamag-anak yung word na passed away na yan, doon sa fled away. Napansin niyo po? Just to sustain lang na tama ang sinasabi ng verse 12, tama ba verse 12, 11, na nag-fled away yung heaven. Kasi pagdating sa 21.1 ng Revelation, ayan na nga, kasi nawala na yung heaven and your earth. Pero what we are talking ay yung judgment sa white throne judgment. Okay? Can I, can I continue? Okay lang? So lilipat tayo sa verse 12. Kasi the old heaven and the old, old earth was destroyed. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened. Nakita daw, take note, this is the revelation of John. Revelation ni Jesus kay John. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. In Greek po, there are two forms of dead. Yung word na dead na yan. Yung isa, necros, that pertains to the spiritual death, the soul realm. At yung isa naman, ah, di ko rin maalala ko anong pangalan, di ko mabanggit sa Greek. Pero ang ibig sabihin na death na yon, yung isang dead na yon, ay yung physical death. Physical death. Gets mo po yan? Di mata na kailangan mag-aral ng Greek eh, kasi Pinoy tayo. Pero ang ibig sabihin po ng dalawang dead na yan, yung isa soul, yung isang namatay body. Nagets mo po? Nagets mo po? Di ba? Ang tao kasi, nung tayo ay yung mga, ano ba, yung nanay namin na namatay four years ago, yung kanyang katawan inilibing. Yung kanyang body. Pero yung kanyang kaluluwa ay nasa langit. Yung kanyang necros nasa langit. Yung kanyang nipatos ata nasa lupa. 
ang time will come sa pagbabalik ni Jesus, yung mga naunang nangamatay, pagbalik nila, hindi pa sila glorified body, babalik yung mga kaluluwa kasama ni Jesus. Tapos, bubuhayin yung mga nangamatay na physical body and will join with their soul and spirit and it would become a glorified body. Doon sa mga mag stay sa pag rapture ni Jesus, instantaneously, our bodies will be turned into glorified body. Kasi hindi tayo namatay eh. Paglipad natin, kung papano, oh my God, split second lang po yun guys eh. Kung papano yung mga buhay, paglipad mababago, magiging glorified body kasi hindi ka naka-experience ng death. Ganon din po dito sa hinuhusgahang mga unbelievers. Now let me explain na nga lang para mas maganda. Uh, magkahiwala yung kanilang body at saka nilang kanilang soul. Kasi yung kanilang yung kanilang soul, of course, na ando na sa sa kumukulo, sa mabahong lugar. 'Di ba? Yung kanilang soul. Kasi pagdating po dito sa verse 13, if I'm not mistaken, 2013. The sea give up the dead who were in it. And death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them. Nakapasin yun? So yung kanilang physical body ay naandun sa sea. Nasa hadis naman yung mga kaluluwa ng mga makasalanan. And of course, pagharap nila kay Jesus, kinakailangan mag-join yung kanilang katawan, di ko lang alam ko ang term pa rin ng katawan nila ay glorified body. Uh, di ko alam. Uh, di ko alam ko anong term. Pero mag night din, igigive up ng karagatan ng dagat ang kanilang katawan, sabi ng Bible, at yung hadis iluluwa uli yung kanilang kaluluwa, mag night at haharap sa judgment seat ni Christ. This is for the unbelievers, ha? Huh? Gods? At ang sabi ng Bible, and books were opened. What are those books? Kasi mga kaluluwa yun. What are those books? Sabi po ng Psalms 139 verse 16. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book, the all were written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. Tawag po nila dito ay book of records. Good or bad, lahat tayo, meron tayong book of records. So naandun po yan, yung substance na katawan mo, hindi pa nagawa, naandun yan. Sabi po ng Psalms 56 verse 8, this is another, kasi books were opened and the book of life. Iba yon. Psalms 56 verse 8, You number my wanderings, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? Ang galing lang ni Lord, no? Doon sa mga iyakin, <laughs> doon sa mga pag-iyak natin na sabi ng Bible, recorded dyan. They are all, God put your tears in a battle. They are all recorded in the book. What book is that? The book of remembrance. Nire-record din pala. Di ko, naman, di ko alam kung padamihan tayo ng luha. But it is recorded in that book of remembrance. Malachi 3.16. Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another. And the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before them. So a book of remembrance. There's a book of records, book of remembrance. Revelation 20 verse 12. There's a book called book of works. And I saw the dead small and great standing before God and books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life. Later, I will tell you what is this a book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. So meron talang, talagang book of works. So yung mga, yung mga NPA, yung mga kriminal, yung mga terorista, lahat ng kanilang kademonyohan, it's all recorded in the book of works. Including us, ladies and gentlemen. Lahat ng mga works natin ay naandun nakarecord. However, the only difference with us 
Because we accepted Jesus, ang sabi ng Colossians 2, 13 and 14 sa King James, ang sabi doon, and you were dead, yung trespass, 14. Pili sa pagbasa na. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. So in the book of records, look at me guys, this is very helpful for all of us. Tayo pong mga believers, we are not perfect eh. Kahit nung bago tayo maborn again, yung mga past natin, ang dami natin. Yung iba nga, daming kaliwa, nanganan, daming kasalanan natin. Di ba? But the moment we got born again, pagdating po doon sa mga works natin, because we accepted Jesus, yung mga wrongs mo, kinocross na ni God. Blatted. Hindi lang, uh, actually, ang teaching niyan, hindi lang nilagyan ng ex, binura as if sin never existed before. That's how powerful the blood of Jesus is. So that is why we need to share this gospel kasi kawawa naman yung mga kriminal, kawawa naman yung mga masasamang tao na hindi nila alam na they can have an access to the forgiveness so they won't be judged in this uh, white throne judgment. Diba? Para makasama natin sila sa rapture. So there is book of records, book of works, book of remembrance, and of course, the book of life. What is the book of life? I believe every people who were born on this planet earth, the moment they, bo they were born, their name is recorded in the book of life. Masusulat ka sa book of life, kaya nga book of life eh. However, pag dumating yung chance na they rejected Jesus as their Lord and Savior, buburahin yung pangalan nila doon sa Book of Life. Kaya pagdating po sa judgment, pagbukas ng Book of Life, God is so fair enough. Lahat nakarecord dyan. Eh, hindi ko alam eh. Uh, excuse me, ignorance excuses no one. ba? Diba? Na Natinan niyo po yan? So that's why we need to share. We need to go after the one. We need to tell others that, hey, we have an access. We have an avenue. We can be forgiven. We can access the grace of God. We are not perfect. You iba nga, to be honest with you guys, you iba nga, parehang kabit, magsasama sila. In a born again. So hindi ko na alam kung paano bahala na si God. Pati ba naman yun eh. Bahalan sa gawin pa paano ayusin. But as far as they are concerned, yung heart nila, inayos nila. Bahala na si God. And then, eh pag nakasama natin, ito, totoo nga yung word, di mo naman mawi-witness doon sa impirno kasi wala tayo doon, eh, nasa langit tayo. So pagdating natin sa langit, hanapin natin yung mga nasolwin natin, yung mga kakilala, makikita natin yan. Let me finish off. Are you getting so far? Are you understanding what we're talking? We're talking about the millennial, the judgment seat, the lake of fire. Wow. Nasaan ako? Anong verse na ako? Verse 12? Verse 13? And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death delivered the bodies, and hell delivered up the souls which were in, in them. Nakita niyo yun? Nasa hell yung mga kaluluwa, Nasa dagat yung mga katawan, diniliver, nag-unite, and they stand before Jesus to be judged every man according to their works. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Yun nga, kagaya ni Satan, uh, they, they were cast into the lake of fire. Yung for eternity na. And anyone, sabi ng 15, 2015 ng Revelation, And anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Let me close my Bible. Galing na. So lahat ng tao na wala doon sa book of life, itatapo na doon sa lake of fire. Kumukulong apoy. Lake. Ano sa Tagalog yung lake? Lawa ng apoy na hindi mamamatay, mabaho. Let's all stand up.
Hindi po ito, sa, ako, hindi ako natakot i- ituro ito. Eh. Kasi we need to know this eh. Hindi natin, di rin naman natin pwede sabihin, o oh, sige, sabi ng Bible, pag hindi mo tinanggap si Jesus, pupunta ka sa kumukulong asopre. Uh, yung iba, naboborn again, pero out of fear. Pero mas gusto ni God na maborn again tayo kasi alam natin, mahal pala tayo ni God. Guys, yung mga, mabuti nga hindi graphics, no? Yung mga senaryo na yon. Sadyang nilagay ng God sa Bible so we could know. Kasi it's not designed for us. Jesus wanted to be with us for eternity. So isa na lang po yung subject natin next week. Uh, there will be new heaven and new earth. Ang sabi nung nasa, na, nabasa natin, itong white throne judgment, suspended somewhere in the, hindi ko alam po anong term. Kasi the old heaven and the old earth were vanished. It fled away. Na kahit hanapin, di nila masumpungan. And I believe only God has the power to do that. Do you love the Lord? Galing niya, no? Can you bow your heads? Let's pray. Jesus, what an awesome God you are. Super loving God. The subject that we're talking, God, it's not for us. But let it be a good encouragement for all of us, God, to really go after the one, to those people who don't know you yet. Help us. Siyempre, di mo naman gagamitin ang mga kriminal para mag-share ng word of God. You will use your sons and your daughters to go after the one continue to give us the heart for souls because this is the very reason why you came to seek and to save us so Lord thank you for enlightenment, thank you for realization, thank you for putting a very very big value to us to the life that we are having now and we need to enjoy it for no other reason but to share the good news and the good life as well to others. God, my prayer is you bless your people that let your agenda, God, be our agenda. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
Hi, good morning po. Bali, kami po yung Renski ng Happy Couples. <laughs> Renski for Rens and Miki. Bali, we're here for giving po. Bali, yung verse po namin is Proverbs 11.25 po. The generous soul will be made rich and he who waters will also be watered himself. Bali, for giving po, it's not only a duty but also a privilege. When we bless others, we are blessed in return. Kaya, lagi kayo mag-share ng blessings niya sa ibang tao. <laughs> si Renz, lagi niyang sinishare yung blessings niya kasi pag sahod, automatic sa akin lahat. So, dapat lahat ng asawang lalaki ganun. Kasi, ano nag-asawa po tayo, nasa, ano, na lahat ng sahod ng lalaki bibigay na sa babae. <laughs> so, yun. Yun lang naman. Tapos, pero hindi ba tapos? Kasi mga two minutes pa daw. So, meron pa, syempre. Hindi lang yun. <laughs> so, Amen. when we give... <laughs> So when we give po, we not only bless others, but we also enrich our own lives. We experience joy by knowing that we are making a difference in someone else's life. Thus po, giving also allows us to trust in God's provision, which is napatunayan namin ever since na nagsama po kami, kahit po nung magjowa pa lang po kami. <laughs> Madami ng blessing. So nung nagka-baby po kami, Dahil may hiling rin po kami mag-share ng blessing sa ibang tao, uh, binibless din po kami lagi ni God. Amen. <laughs> so I urge you to consider how you can enrich your life through giving po. So importante na 10% po ng ating earnings monthly or every quincenas, dapat po nabibigay natin kay God. Whether it's a tithes to the church or a donation to a charity, know what your gifts make a difference. All form of gifts po, hindi lang naman po blessings in family or financially, nandyan din po yung blessings sa, nandyan yung may support system ka from family po. Uh, tapos po sa asawa mo, sa mga anak mo, madami po blessings in form. Hindi lang siya financially. May spiritually... So yun po. Uh, and as you give, make you experience the joy and blessings that come from a life of generosity. So yun lang po. Bali, uh, kunin na po natin natin mga tights. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so, si Renz, ano po? Uy, sa... <laughs> Ayun ah, nga po yung difference. So yung ano, uh, anak po to ni 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 Pastor Rowel po, pero hindi makabagsan nito. So ibang iba po to, ibang ibang version. So ito po yung version ng 2.0, pero sa bahay naman po madaldal yan. Pag sa ibang tao lang hindi. Oh, let us pray po. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessing po. Guide us and uh, na magkaroon pa po ng madaming blessings for everyone, especially po sa family namin, para po makapag-bless din po kami sa ibang tao. Uh, in Jesus' name, may pray. Amen. Amen. Ayun po bala, sorry, nalimutan namin. Bali, may ibang forms po tayo ng give. <laughs> kayo through online or through uh, here po. Huwag nila po susulatan yung sa labas. Meron po siyang ano sa loob. Thank you po. Make sure to write your name po. Kaling mo rin sa... Ay, si Trit, yung... Kinuha na na ako ng lamesa. dahil to sa comedy ni Mikay at saka ni Renze. While you are giving, I will be calling people who have just graduated from our Zoe class. Certificate of completion is awarded to Mikaela B. San Juan for completing the third batch of Zoe class given this 18th day of August here in New Life, the gig. 
certificate of completion is awarded to Roy R. Magdaong. Wow, si Brother Roy. Roy, at yung Roy. Certificate of completion is awarded to Eliseo B. Leisa. Wow, si Eli. Jeffrey T. Nieva. Certificate of completion. Ito si Jeff. Ay, Guys, uh, akala ko talaga noon na magkapatid to sila. Ngayon, kita nyo naman na Nieva at saka Magdaong. Hindi magkapatid. Rohani. Ano si Rohani? Wala si Rohani. Si Charles Colbert Cruz. Si Charles. Wala. Kaya pala lang natin parakpak nyo. Si Jeremy Lamonte. Certificate of Christ Awarded to Jeremy Buti na lang talaga, Jerry. May hindi, Mary me, no? De, dapat tinatanong ng girlfriend niya, hindi ako. Okay. Compress daw tayo. Thank you very much. Congratulations, guys. Humayo kayo at magparami. Yung ating pong Zoe class ay free po yan, guys. Ha? Every now and then, quarterly, meron po tayong Zoe class. It's for free. May pakain pa ho yan. Two Saturdays. Two half Saturdays. Let's all stand up for our closing. Let's close in prayer. Father, thank you for everything you have done. Thank you for the revelation, impartation. Thank you for teaching us the real, true, uncompromised Word of God, Lord. In the future events, may we all are encouraged, God, to really go after the one. We will leave this house knowing and understanding for the, for the rest of the week. Your abundance will manifest in every household, provision, wisdom in our day-to-day -day lives. All for the sake of the plan, this we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for your life. Amen. Thank you, Bobas.